If you like cherry ice cream, deep sea odyssey movies, or wearing fuzzy socks in the summertime, there's a chance that you might like Jennifer Vanilla's debut album, Castle in the Sky. And just trust me, after you listen, that will make sense. First, you have to buy into the vision. So Jennifer Vanilla is the alter ego or alias of another musician, Becca Kaufman. And they are this like interdimensional humanoid being sent from, I don't know where, another dimensional thing. And through Becca, they're like freeing us from artistic suppression. Soak that in first and then continue. <laughs> so pretty much when you're listening to the music, and I think you should also watch their music videos, uh, you have to be willing to, you just, you gotta be willing to get weird, okay? Loosen up. I would say it's the art pop rock genre, and it starts out with Jennifer's Calling, first track. Uh, also, you're not gonna forget whose album this is because Jennifer's name is in the title of almost every single track, but I think we love a self-confident humanoid. They mix together these sounds from like nature and the wild with synthy, I don't know what the things are, like pop sh And it very peacefully takes you into this place where you're like, oh, I am rising into the skies. And maybe there's a castle. It's, ve it's very vibey. It's like pop music if you were grooving through an intergalactic forest. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this. <laughs> Jennifer's music popped up in another playlist of mine with the song Body Music. And it's rhythmic. It's still poppy. It's very Madonna, uh, like 2000s Madonna. If I could die another, I guess I'll die another day it's a really toasty track and you will ask yourself what music does my body make trust there are times when it gets a little too experimental for me so if you have any form of anxiety i would recommend skipping humility disease another don't skip can't miss is cool loneliness it's so good it's like an easy breezy pop ballad the vocals are so airy and like maybe Fiona Apple-ish. I don't know why I have to compare people to other people. You know, because like, I'm trying to give a reference. No, I was going to start policing myself, but I said what I said and I meant, I meant it. I also think it's really perfectly placed in the album because it's toward the end where it's like this palate cleanser after you've been through these ups and downs and different musical sensations. It's like, uh, enjoy this paradise in the sky. I think you might like it.